words like integrity and honor and discipline, character, the loss in society. That's why when you see something pure, it just jumps off the page, jumps off the screen, jumps off. You just like gotta have it. So you figure all this out, man. And you go through the gym and all the pain, there's a lot of pain there. But if you push past the pain, then you feel that pride, man. You get kind of choked up about it. Because it's worthy of being choked up about it. I'm sitting here talking to a fucking camera, man. I'm getting all fucking mystified about it. Because it's that alive. It holds that much value, man. Someone gives you a check, you cash it, you don't even know what that is, man. I give you a title, you don't, you don't know what that is. It's not until you've earned that fucker. And you understand the value of it, man. Ranger school, man, it wasn't about becoming a ranger. That got me to start the course because I respected the elite brotherhood there. The title, the, the, the echelon success that such a small group of society can, it, it has that right to call themselves. But that was quickly gone the first fucking day, man. Beating my ass up. You know, I walk in at 2 or 3 in the morning and they, hey, shit, stick, get the fuck down. Man, I, I, I didn't walk three feet into that compound. 500 push ups, man, I can't move my arms. And I got 70 days of this shit and I'm only five minutes into it, I'm already dead. And I came into the best shape of my life. Oh my God, man, you think that title is in my mind at that point? I don't think so. What keeps me going? When you're in the gym, you know, to get in shape, that sounds great when you're sitting on the couch or you're back before the starting line war gaming, how great it'd be to finish the marathon in under three hours, but when you start running the third, fourth mile, all of a sudden, whoa, we lose our interest on that goal because it gets too hard. You gotta find more fucking value and believe in yourself before you embark on these journeys. And once you have it, guys, let's jump forward. Once you have that belief, let's say you can figure that belief out. That's so strong that it overrides the crowds of disbelief, the adversities, anything. You welcome that shit because that right there is supposed to fucking happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle tested, proven champion that holds the title has the value of the title you never become the, the what a ranger tab fucking means you must go through those ends hit rock bottom your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up you learn from that and then you uh you continue to put one foot in front of the other but it's not work it's love because what you're going for is what you believe. Once you believe in something, guys, then you can actually begin to have a career in any endeavor. But if it's a fitness endeavor, let's talk about that fitness endeavor. The fitness modeling endeavor. How to find value in that. First of all, you're selling something eventually, right? So, would you buy it? Here's a question. Would you buy what you're about to sell? Well, in order to buy something, right, there has to be value. For me to spend my hard-earned money into something, there must be some form of fucking value. And then the value has to be proven. You got credibility behind that. Value. Walk in the talk. If you're a trainer, Samuel, you've already entered competitions because you believe in yourself enough that you are that. Why would you ever embark on training somebody that they're paying you money, but fuck the money. They're believing in you to help them. There's a higher responsibility here. These people holding out for you, looking for some help. And you're coming up short. You're not quite in shape. You might have some fucking book you read or something. You might, you know, have heard, you know, read a book or something, but fuck reading the book. I don't want to talk to you if you read the book. I want to talk to the fucking author that wrote the book. The credibility, the value behind it. I don't want you to plagiarize something. I don't want you to copy or duplicate whatever, whatever's already been done. I want you to be a fucking original. How about that? Scary, but how about that? In order to do that, you have to have value in who you are. You can't look at the end state of the paycheck. You have to look at the daily task of transforming somebody. That internal pride you feel. 
and I created my website because the world and what I knew in fitness when I first started out and when I started to make this site was missing a fundamental echelon of truth. I got so sick of the magazines and the supplement companies and the products just selling to your lethargic nature. Saying there's a quicker fix to something. You don't have to go through all that pain and learn so much. We'll give you the results right now. Those results don't have any value. They will never last. I got so fed up with it. That was the value that I wanted to replace. I want to put inside the void that was going to be filled. I developed a website for that. To give the truth out there. The truth that I fucking walked. I've been up, I've been down, I've been shit on all the time. Still here. Judge me. You know, I fucking hit the ranks of the top cover guy. There's been how many people that come up? There's one guy get like two or three covers here. Oh, he's gonna take Greg out. Eight years of this shit. I've seen him come, see him go, see him come, see him go. I'm still fucking here. Why? Because I built my foundational fucking value that stands the test of time. I'm not here to make a buck. I'm here to make a fucking difference.